Hey Shortwave listeners, welcome to Scanning the Bands Part 6. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you've been following already, this is part of a series of videos that are scanning shortwave bands across the HF spectrum, especially focusing on some of the ones I find most interesting to start. But we will be covering all of them. So in today's video, we're going to start looking at the 19 and 18 meter bands. And I initially thought I was just going to do the 18 meter band, but it isn't a very active band. So I've added to include the broadcast band of 19 meters. But let's dive right in. So in the chart above, you can see 19 and 18 meters covers 15 megahertz up to 17.4 megahertz approximately with a 19 meter broadcast band covering about 15.1 to 15.8 megahertz, which is a fairly good daytime frequency for shortwave listening. The 18 meter band, however, is a very unusual and somewhat quiet band. And as you probably saw in that earlier chart, the 18 meter band is going to be mostly fixed allocations, which means a lot of digital signals with probably military origin. And looking at this FCC allocation chart, you can see that across both bands, we have a little bit of aeronautical mobile that goes up to about 15.1. We have the broadcast and then everything above 15.8 up to 17.4 is almost all fixed and a little bit of maritime mobile. So jumping in right away, right before the broadcast part of the 19 meter band, we have WWV, which I covered in my last video. And of course, on 15 megahertz or 15,000 kilohertz, WWV is very strong. Let's take a listen. The signal will be broadcast for several weeks. For more information on Hensai and the WWV WWVH project, please visit www.hamsai.org slash WWV. And of course, WWV and WWVH in Hawaii can be heard pretty much worldwide. So it's always a good signal to listen for to see what the actual propagation conditions are for your shortwave listening. If you want to learn more, watch my 120 and 105 meter video. So just above WWV at 1510 kilohertz up to about 15100 kilohertz, uh, we have a small section of aeronautical mobile. And this covers both military and civilian aeronautical where you will hear things, call signs, maybe military call signs, and weather reports. So let's listen to the first one. This is on 15, 16 kilohertz. This, I believe, is a military emergency action message in EAM. When you read what an EAM is actually used for, it's a bit sobering in case of nuclear war. But not to worry, these are test messages that are broadcast all the time to make sure the network is working. It's definitely used to broadcast emergency communications, and I think there are multiple tests per day. You can easily hear this on 19 meters. Take a listen. Romeo, three, stand by. November, Delta, Papa, uniform. Romeo, three, stand by. Message follows. November. Delta, Papa, Uniform, Romeo, 3, 5, Bravo, 4, Uniform, India, X-Ray, Max, Delta. I should mention that's, that's the U.S. military communications. 1525 kilohertz. This is a digital audio signal called HFDL. I cover this in more detail on my 35 meter band videos. So take a, take a look at that if you want more information. But basically it just stands for high frequency data link, which is a communication mode, a digital communication mode between ground and air. Next is on 1534 kilohertz, just a basic weather report, otherwise known as Volmet. Again, I cover that in my 35 meter video, but just basic single sideband weather communications. Temperature minus three, dew point minus six, altimeter two niner five zero. Break, Winnipeg, Winnipeg, 
time 1800 Zulu, wind 320 at Niner, visibility 15, ceiling 2400 broken. Okay, let's jump to broadcast 15.1 up to about 15.8 megahertz. There are a lot of broadcasting shortwave stations in this range. Many of them are in Asia. You'll see a lot of stations from China, especially China National Radio, CNR, and or Sound of Hope. But there are plenty of other stations, and the 19-meter band is an excellent band to listen to midday, mid-afternoon, anywhere in the world, wherever you're located. So if you're in the midday, mid-afternoon, even into the early evenings, this is a great band to try to listen to. I'll give you a set of examples. I'll make the clips short so they're not dragging out for you. But um, these will be a, a number of examples, certainly not comprehensive of everything you can hear on the 19 meter band. But let's just go through some of these. I have to start with probably one of the most interesting shortwave stations you can listen to, the voice of Korea out of Pyongyang. This is the official government sanctioned radio station out of North Korea, shortwave radio station that broadcasts worldwide and really has an unmistakable intro and sound. Let's let's listen to that first. This is Voice of Korea. This is Voice of Korea. <laughs> Wow. I got to say, for those of us who grew up listening to radio stations like Radio Moscow during the Cold War, this is quite a reminder of what propaganda and nationalistic patriotic radio is like. You can actually listen to some of these on the Shortwave Audio Archive. I'll post a link in the comments about this. But let's listen to a few more segments from Voice of Korea. And is your service of voice of Korea from Pyongyang, the capital of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. We now present the Immortal Revolutionary PM, song of General Kim Il Sung. <laughs> The regional industry factories in Gyeongsang County were inaugurated with this ceremony on the 12th. Present at the inaugural ceremony were officials of working people in North Hamgyong Province and Gyeongsang County, soldier builders, and employees of the regional industry factories. But There's something strangely fascinating about Voice of Korea, and if, if you can receive it on your shortwave, it's, it's interesting to listen to if you get a chance. And by the way, this was on 15180 kilohertz. All right, let's quickly look at some other stations. First up is as World Radio Broadcasting Gospel to Africa on 15105. <laughs> Next we have the voice of Iran on 15135. <laughs> We'll do three next. We have NHK Radio Japan on 15195, Radio France International on 15300, and Nexus Italian on 1425 kilohertz. <laughs> This is Nexus and IRS, the Italian radio relay service in Milano, signing on. Well, we'll just do a couple more examples. I'm not going to go across all of the shortwave stations on the 19-meter band. But I did mention earlier that 
in Asia, there's a number of Chinese language stations, both from the China National Radio Organization and from other stations broadcasting in Chinese, such as Sound of Hope. We'll listen to a couple of short clips from both. One, uh, China National Radio on 15.570 kilohertz and Sound of Hope on 15.920 kilohertz. For any of these stations trying to listen to the 19 meter band is totally going to depend on propagation conditions, the type of antenna you have, where you are located in the world, and the time of day. If you really want to find out what's on the air at a certain time, there are two websites you can go to. One is shortwave.info or short-wave.info, and the other one's called shortwaveschedule.com. I'll put both links in the description below. Well, what about the 18 meter band? As I mentioned earlier, this band is fairly bereft of signals. There's not a lot here. Uh, there are a few mystery signals and typically some digital signals, most of which I think are over the horizon radar. First up, we have a mystery single sideband conversation on 16.002.5 kilohertz. No idea what this conversation is about. As much as I scanned across the 18 meter band, that was really the only voice conversation I heard in, in that entire band. Some of the other signals we hear on 18 meters are some of the maritime navigational aids. So for example, this one out of Australia on 16, 528 kilohertz called VMW. And 16, 546 kilohertz. End of transmission from VMW for this part of the program. End of transmission from VMW for this part of the program. There is also some nav text for navigational aid. Then on 16, 820 kilohertz, there are also some navigational beacons. This is XSQ out of China. But all in all, not a lot of signals in that 18 meter band spread of about 16 megahertz to 17.4. Yes, there are other digital signals in, in the band, but Generally, not a lot. Things like Stanog and other ones we've encountered on the other videos. So if you know of any other signals in that range, that would be great. Please just add them to the comments below. Last up, I think probably the most common signals in the 18 meter band are over the horizon radar signals. And I personally think one of the reasons why there are so many over the horizon radar signals in that band is just mainly because it is so empty. But let's just listen to a couple of examples, and I'd love to hear from you guys watching if you know these truly are over the horizon radar signals or there's something else. And, you know, I've looked at signal wikis to see if these match, and they seem to, but you never know on some of these signals. So let's view a couple of these.
Thoughts on that? I would love to know what that last signal was. Very wide bandwidth, very, very strong signal. Um, is that over the horizon radar warming up? I'm not sure exactly what that signal is. I do plan to do a dedicated video on over the horizon radar in the future. I didn't want to go too deep into it now, but needless to say, it's, it's a very interesting signal and there's quite a few signals across many bands. Well, that wraps it up for today, the 19 and 18 meter bands. I'd love to hear your comments, questions, um, thoughts about these two bands and any other interesting facts about them. I really appreciate all the watchers and it's been great to see the subscriber count go up. You know, if you haven't subscribed before, please do. It just helps the channel. It's free. No obligation with that. So take care, everyone, and keep listening to Shortwave.